Hello, in this video I'll share with you one healthy treatment that is helping big poultry farmers raise chickens without stress and without any extra feed cost or cost on medication. I am equally going to be showing you how I am personally using this treatment to raise chickens up to 3.5 kilograms in 45 days. And if you stick to the very end, I will show you how to use this treatment and how to also test for its effectiveness. Because if you are able to use this treatment correctly, it is going to reduce your feed cost, your expenses on antibiotics and other medications by up to 80 to 90 percent. And believe me or not, it's going to improve greatly your feed conversion ratio, flock uniformity like you see in my bands from the back right up to the front because all of these factors will affect your overall output at the end of six weeks. So what is this treatment anyway? It's something you might have heard of already or you might not have heard of. Organic acids. They are very very important they come with different names but the most important thing is they play the same role irrespective of what name or what company produces them they just have to be organic acids they are very very important in treatment it is used as a therapy for the birds especially during stress period some of them come with strips like this to enable you dilute them to the best pH that will heal the best results. So I'm going to show you how to prepare this dilution solution. It begins by measuring an appropriate amount of water. All of this is done based on calculations. So first you have to do calculations to be able to know which quantity of water will be able to dilute the acids into the optimum pH that is on the indicator. My dilution is a little bit complicated because I'm going to do it in two stages. First, preparing the initial solution on a container like you see here and afterward setting up a dosing pump that will push the solution into the water that is getting into the house. You see this is the straight line going inside. I have to close the straight line, divert the water towards the pump so that when the water goes now through the pump the pump is going to pick up the solution and add it to the water the second stage of dilution happens on this pump here is the percentage so for example it's on one and a half percent it means for every 100 liters of water that will flow into this van the solution will go in one and a half liters and this is my water meter measuring the quantity of water going inside. By the time 1000 liters of water will go in, approximately 15 liters of the solution that I have prepared will have gone in. And the information of that quantity of water going inside goes to the main controller. Now, after about an hour, my therapy must have gotten into my bands and it's a good time to test the pH of the water using the strip to be sure that it has been reduced to the optimum. At the optimum pH, bacteria multiplication is inhibited in the drinking water and also in the gut of the chickens. To achieve this, I will take out the strip indicator and I will insert it into a water line, wait for about a minute, then pull it out and compare the color on the indicator 
with that on the pH scale. This is to be sure that the therapy has been delivered in its optimum condition. So, if your dilution is correct, the color of your indicator should match with the optimal dosage on the pH scale that came with the organic acid. Now, having said that, let's quickly discuss how to use these acids because there are do and there are don'ts. When and how to use organic acids. First, let's start with the do's. So, as mentioned earlier, they are very useful during stress periods, during any form of diarrhea, during feet changes, they are very, very useful. The don'ts, you must never give chickens organic acid therapy for more than five days. The optimum use should be for three days. Also, you must never give chickens organic acids treatment or therapy into more than one quarter of their daily water consumption. That is to say, if your chickens are drinking, like in this case, 5,000 liters of water a day, the therapy should run only for 1,000 liters. They should be allowed to have 4,000 liters of their normal drinking water on a daily basis for the three days that they will be on therapy. And after the therapy, you must restore back the normal water. That is to say, they should have again 5,000 liters of water normally. 